dark and you go above the darkness eating at your flesh into a halo above yourself, embracing yourself then drifting on what turns you on? It was the question and after thoughts that clung like the rain, still wet on her skin, a silk, wet rain, that she wore in her thoughts between the sheets. Excerpts from Spellbound, a prelude to the release of Black Harlequin, I want you to lay beside me if there were no end and eternity was the beginning, a drink of your kiss, has taken me so much deeper. Worlds of emotion and turns of devotion, finesse eyes your delicate and sincere. I take with me beauty's portrait and breast the unknown, welcome your days I do cherish and commit to invest fragile innocence blurs the bottom of trodden days never flown. Beside me you will be strong. Fiery rain seen. Fire thirsting for the rain of the sweat of their skin, the night tightened, and the air ran off the walls. The rush of the grass with more than bodies tangled in what now became the floor made the love scene and the gravity closed, confusing day and night, no longer distinguishable between an affair of 24 hours of day, the light of day hadn't broke the embrace between floods of concentration, never leaving one another. Black Harlequin excerpt slash spellbound by just she opened the flower of the collar, and Chaz her feminine scarf of a woman's neckline, with the close of his fantasies or remembrances of the last time a woman untied his tie. With Dante hands of femininity, nights before his profession button, she pinned her hair under his brim, then polished her hairline, looking into his reflection, to see him again, stranger, the two gnaw together. Unparalleled, was like never meeting, only it to remind me of how much I missed you, to see into a reflection and feel my own breath, still breathing heavily from the cascading hands. Hours passing over and over, the allure. The passion and hunger pays time's cavity into the deliverance of some of the most provocative thoughts to give rise to capturing poetic embraces words not to fall short of remembering. From the collection of poetry and blog author Jocelyn Shaw. Visit http colon slash slash jasalinisinternational.blogspot.com slash 2012 slash 06 slash it's hyphen another hyphen preview hyphen of hyphen black hyphen harlequin dot htmlm equals one as the morning introduced she opened the flower of the collar and chas her feminine scarf of a woman's neckline with the close of his fantasies or remembrances of the last time a woman untied his tie with dante hands of femininity nights before his profession buttoned she pinned her hair under his brim then polished her hairline, looking into his reflection, to see him again, stranger, the two gnaw together. Unparalleled, was like never meeting, only it to remind me of how much I missed you, to see into a reflection and feel my own breath, still breathing heavily from the cascading hands. Hours passing over and over, the allure. The passion and hunger pays time's cavity into the deliverance of some of the most provocative thoughts to give rise to capturing poetic embraces words not to fall short of remembering. From the collection of poetry and blog author Jocelyn Shaw. Visit http colon slash slash jocelynisinternational.blogspot.com slash 2012 slash 06 slash it's hyphen another hyphen preview hyphen of hyphen black hyphen harlequin dot htmlm equals one. Ebony and E mystery had come to the promise of another closing goodbye. This time Haven lasted the age of fire to ash, camped alongside the two lovers and their collected thoughts that poured into a nonverbal composition. Returning in the remnants of woven clouds dissipating with the early rays and the first opening of E-Mystery's eyes, was the thoughts of where the air stood still and circled her thoughts that draped down the bosom of her face. Lay on her cheeks, the remaining chill and waters of his caress. Passionate thoughts. Ebony was poetry in. And of himself. Who was now in the shadows of the previous evening. Number 2. As we continue with another sneak peek from Black Harlequin, when the romance revealed, Airy whispered confessions emerged, loosened secrets, alive, born from questions. Disguised and unliked, unfriendly. No longer neighbors of intimacy afar. In a soulless haste, rushing and crashing, escaping wreckage, was almost a tragedy, but a shadow that remained, was how words revealed that the moments into time, was the day and cast of their silhouettes, stone. Moments that came unshockingly when E-Mystery was relieved by Ebony's call, upon receiving the scented letters from E-Mystery. Owning it, his tone, his voice, hushed. The absent questions that they didn't speak. It was the poetry of E. Mystery's letter. Captivating, was the beginnings, the climax and renewal of the lover's correspondence, caress, that made for the age of days, to come to pass. And the bareness of the words. That was the seduction. The endeavor of Ebony's labor had subsided to less strenuous days. And the hangover of weekend getaways was sure to be the foreplay. 
in the late company of etiquette. For this occasion was embossed with the crest of more days that would be spent with each other. Fermented sheets entombed the magic of the atmosphere like in a ripe harvest that they ate amongst each other's company. E mystery lay with Ebony, as they dispelled the load of weighted days past the days of romance were calling. Ebony lined E mystery's lips with the tips of his fingers, haloing the peak of their conversation, she breathed a smile and the allure of watching her movements across the suite to the jacuzzi was arousing enough to know that this was a day's keepsake and no intrusion would break the seduction. E mystery broke the air. With the smell of a rose scented candle that made Ebony smile at her trained efforts to appease the hour. And him. Yes, this was the union of days that they'd been rehearsing in erotic scripts apart. The warm rush of the water was like wine to E mystery as she sipped on Ebony's shoulders and smiled in between the doses of therapeutic drops that came from Ebony's bowl, hand in shadow. Which made for the realness of a bouquet coupled with the scent of the candle that burned wayside the portrait of the two. The light of the candle burned and. E mystery smoothed the liquefied soy of the candle that remained on the heavy glass plate with her fingers into a circle. As she echoed. Ebony's previous touch. Across her back. She caught Ebony's attention and eased deeper into their night's passion. The craft of the evening broke a longing of two sensuous souls. Preface. Seven Days to Romeo. The Portrait of a Man. Under the Moon. When a woman wants a man. The curtains drew on her gun, and shot down her thoughts that seemed to deepen her desire for the taste of his hips. The turn of his muscle, the kiss and taste of his tongue, one night that was caught breathless. The night had stolen blown kisses of her pleasures and hung thoughts of escapades with her lover in her head. Now the fault line between what could shake and rattle the crevasses, she began the craft the subjected to deliver her account of the events. Or did you not know there happens to be more than one version of the story? Preview. Book 6 in the Black Harlequin when the Romance Revealed book series available through Amazon. Author Jocelyn Shaw. When the waters are clear, it's smooth sailing, but there's chaos amongst pirates, the course is off track and there's no honor amongst thieves as the ship sails to Mansura, Egypt. Book 6 goes abroad with the naughty influence of Quill but the talents of the veteran model, Ebony and a new face, Astaire's, captured in the campaign splashed across the globe. The campaign launched not only a trip but a new single from the international recording artist, Pharaoh. As Ebony picks his poison, he's challenged by loyalty in and out of the sheets, contracts beyond the scope of passion, lust and acts of commission. Chapter 1 Lotus and Quill arranged the final details of the campaign to set in motion a trip and stay abroad to last six weeks, part of the contract for the upcoming year for Ebony and Astyars hosted in Mansura, Egypt. Pharaoh. The music recording artist was coming in from Bilkas, Egypt to perform his new song. The arrangements, by Lotus, included two adjoining suites during the stay that would provide a bungalow for the two models to stay in touch with one another as well as keep Lotus and Quill within distance. Within distance was exactly what Quill had set up as he'd be viewing a Styar suite from his laptop surveillance, his own camera crew assistance set up abroad by his cohorts and the scandal. Quill's legs in the blueprint included a Styar's for sure, but mice amongst men included his team going abroad making secret connections and laboring the technical skills and wiring only to conceal the romance he was now sharing between a Styar's, Ebony, and E-Mystery. Six weeks in Mansura, Egypt was a seduction itself into the culture of Egypt as well as the history, a familiar overthrow had been the idea in Quill's head. Astiaris had come on board as a friend of Quill, and on the hustle ticket riding through the gates after Quill's independent days with her were agreeably bringing in less than needed for their appetites. Appetites, with a lot of hors d'oeuvres in sight, as we see the lingering thirst for more left on Astiaris' tongue. Eyes drunken with the masculinity, Astiaris was wooing her own dance into the arms of Ebony, whilst E-Mystery was occupied with Quill's business charms only to distract E-Mystery as he collected the dew from his pot distilling just to savor his deeds yet undone. Quill and Astyars both had the mentality that sex could be used to advance themselves professionally, and they did not mind either of them having a professional date that brought about resources. It was at a casting call for porn, both Astyars and Quill had hooked up during his early college days, before the internship was offered to him with E-Mystery Studio. 
It was there in that period of time that Queel and Astyars launched their own indie productions which still brought in royal challenges. Closed industry door secrets. And footage left behind. Astyars found herself wooed by someone better than her, her own wooing that had been going on now was staggering due to the scent of attraction between Pharaoh and Astyars. Queel's controlling words were less effective as Pharaoh kept smiling and touching Astyars as if he were in awe of her beauty, a trophy he wanted to take home, home to his palace of liberation. The after-party at hand brought the time for decision, Astyars had to decide. Whose bed she was going to be in when the sun broke early morn. Was the morning going to bring a good morning heartache, the comfort of a new relationship, leaving the past behind her finally or was she going to follow through with Queel's scandal? Astyars left the larger party with Pharaoh, in his limousine. As the doors of the Palace of Liberation opened, so did the secret Pharaoh possessed. Once at the palace, the two walked up to the door where they were greeted by Pharaoh's assistant. But standing behind his assistant was a mirror image of Pharaoh, a live 3D print and hidden gem, his twin. Equally attractive. Dressed in feminine attire, only the face of this man she'd fell in love with at first sight. The voice standing over her as she was recovering from fainting was a feminine voice, and feminine hands stroking her hair and face, also attracted to Astyar's looks but not surprised, Pharaoh had been keeping his sister abreast of the one he told her he was bringing into their fold and tribe. Astyar's eyes now wide open, were staring at a female with all the attractive traits of Pharaoh. Without third-party introduction, Shem introduced herself by touching Astyar's face and chin, then moving her hands along Astyar's sexy, slender body as if she was admiring a piece of artwork. Shem smiled and stated we're about the same size, the three of us actually. What do you think? Think you're going to fit in with twins? Shem being very forward then kissed Astyars on the lips and told Astyars that she could help herself to a shower in her room, her new home with them. Shem pointed down a corridor to a room at the end of the hallway. We'll see you afterwards. That was very true, the same videography Quill had set up existed in the security of the palace, as eyes looked on from another room, Pharaoh had been watching with his assistant. How the tables were turning. Would fate deliver doors of opportunity or was Astyars going to pay for her deception by being deceived into a lover's triangle? The look in Shem's eyes meant there was more secrets to share. One secret indeed, Ebony had been acquainted with Bilkas, Egypt some time ago in his career. Romance brings euphoria, excitement, the playful thrills of getting into some seduction. Listening to one another's dreams, aspirations, and even better, the gratification of succeeding. Winning with the rewards close at home. The contract was in. For better or for worse. Romance wets poetry and it's sealed, inked and developed. The portrait each character sees makes for words unspoken. As we share the imagination as to where it could lead when two sexy bodies heat up the scenes, not only with attraction, but lines delivered that are shocking enough to reset the clock. The hands in time rewind as Ebony, Imaistri, and Lotus become familiar with Deja Vu. That could be just what we need in forecasting the weather. As we prepare for what might be a stormy prediction. Orwell plans to overthrow the castle, dwindle like the short sparks on a sparkler in the fireworks or the night skies and hands hiding passion stains. As it follows through, it's already been set in motion, both poetry and bodies. Lights, camera, action. But what will the set reveal? Black Harlequin, the Romance Revealed book series, author Jocelyn Shaw, book number 5 in the series, Amazon fulfillment on all orders, including upcoming audiobook versions. Be sure to get a free copy of one book in the book series in an Amazon free book promotion, coming soon. Terms and conditions apply. Pharaoh. Book 6 in the series. Black Harlequin, The Romance Revealed. Books available through Amazon. Author Jocelyn Shaw. The rulership of any king of any land embodied his wealth portfolio of human assets, voluntary or involuntary servitude, of which his legacy was chronicled by his loyal family, servants and enemies, a legacy that lived after him. As with recognition of the king's deeds good and bad, both were chronicled for a reason the history and stories has had a profound effect, impact and value of which had to be protected in order to live beyond the life of the ruler, the monarchy, and remain the belief of the majority. In any his story, 
the story is communicated in order make believers amongst the people that a caste existed, upper, middle and lower classes of citizens or which the king, as the sun has risen above. No history exists if not found where in the ruins crumble the stories of victory, as the Colosseum's ghosts only live in the eyes of the witnesses, long after the eye of the tiger's thirst and the royal mane, the cloak of pride is shield of honor. Until the next book in the series, chapter and episode, We'll keep journaling and chronicling the chronicles that catch and reveal the romance caught in between the characters, between the sheets and poetry of the bodies in motion, in the Black Harlequin The Romance Revealed book series. Author Jocelyn Shaw Deja Vu you look like someone who used to know my name. I can tell you by the look on your face. You look like someone who used to spend more than your time. I can tell by the hours you keep early mornings, late nights. Like someone who's missing the time and places we must have been. As we cover the poetry between the lines, we read through the characters' lives in Black Harlequin. The romance revealed. The next line will find you holding hands with the sill houts and basting in the touch of the author's pen to page as she serenades us with romance and poetry coming off the page. Beautiful beginnings in a romance. How could they begin? When they were already so far into the past, the inevitable law of attraction. It was like waiting for the next page in the journal to unfold. She had already tasted the best of him. Anticipation. This was certainly not a one-night stand on her bedside table. She had made a decision to move past her inhibitions, even if it meant waking up to a good morning heartache. Over your shoulder is where you'll find me, right? I am the one to be cruel, so let me remind you. Okay, keep it girl. That's the way you like to play the game. From a distance, you have something in your eyes to say. A quiet storm, bound by the steps of rain. Eve of the ring above my head, run to my heart. Hold my hand in your dreams. Fall into the pace and beat of my heart. You make the choice to belong, and I turn to you, running up my love. During torn pages past tomorrow's shadows, you open the book of love, eternal flame, close enough to burn in the sky. For all to see, you belong to me, my dreams. You are. You are an eternal flame. It's the appetite of a rush, the taste and bittersweet, the skin-tight dew that warms me when you're gone. We won't leave you without the endowment you desire. Here's where you find the deep, deep revelation of your true bond between you and your lover's romance story. Will it be starring you, 